kids, how are you doing? I am so glad as always that you're tuning in, that you're watching Children's Ministry. I am so glad to see those who are part of church coming to service. I'm glad the time that we get to be together. So all right, faith kids, let's do what we always do. Let's get those Bibles, those phones, those tablets, whatever you have the word of, of God on, and we will get right into his word on today to see what he has for us, what he's speaking to us on today. And while you're doing that, and I'm going to begin praying, Heavenly Father God, we just come to thank you for this day, God. We thank you that you are Lord over our lives. We thank you for Jesus, our Savior. We thank you for your Holy Spirit who leads, guides, and directs us into all truth, God. Father, we thank you for this time that we can share in your word, that we can meditate upon your word, that we may grow in you and learn more of you. Father, I pray that, Lord, as you speak through me to your children, oh God, that you speak to, to them, that they hear you, hear the words that you're saying to them, God, knowing that you love them. So we praise you and we give you all the glory for everything that shall be accomplished, everything that shall be said. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, all right, say kids, turn in those Bibles to Hebrews. We're in the New Testament, Hebrews chapter four, Hebrews chapter four. And the message on today we're going to start talking about is that in times of trouble. And so in this times of trouble, we're going to focus on that Jesus understands our trouble. Jesus understands our troubles. So are you there with me in Hebrews chapter four? We're going to read starting with verse number 14. It says, so then, since we have a great high priest who has entered heaven, Jesus, the son of God, let us hold firmly to what we believe. This high priest of ours understands our weaknesses for he faced all of the same testings we do yet he did not sin let's take a moment faith kids and let's just see what that is saying in the scripture it says here that we have a high priest who is our high priest it's jesus yes jesus is our high priest long time ago in the scriptures yeah, and uh, long before us, fake kids, the people went to the high priest. They had to go to the priest to offer up sacrifices, to bring their offerings to the high priest so the high priest can give sacrifices to God to forgive them of their sins that they did. So, but now we have a high priest, meaning we don't need any more. He's the highest. That's all we need. And who is that high priest of all? It's Jesus. So we no longer have to go through other men who, who are just like us, have weaknesses. But they, at that time, it's what they needed. So they would go bring their offerings to the priest and he would offer up sacrifices unto the Lord. But thank God he sent Jesus here for us. And now Jesus is our high priest. And so it tells us that he who is our high priest, he understands our weaknesses for he faced all the same things, testings that we did, yet he did not sin. So fake kids is saying that Jesus, while he was here on this earth, he was here as human, just as we are. So he went through the same things that we do. He was tempted and tested and tried and felt the same things we do. And, you know, maybe I want to be happy. Maybe I want to be mad, whatever it is. He felt the same thing and he understood it. But at the same time, he did not sin. He always made the right choices, did the right things, did what God says to do. So he has led the way for us. He is our example that no matter what we go through, no matter what we're facing, we can still do the right thing. We can still do what God says to do the right way to do things because we have the great example. We have that high priest who, who was here and know what we go through, felt what we felt, but he, but he understands what we're going through. And even with that, let's continue to read in verse number 16, faith kids. So let us come boldly to the throne of our gracious God 
there we will receive his mercy and we will find grace to help us when we need it the most. So the scripture says that we can come boldly to the throne of God. What is the throne of God, faith kid, that we're coming boldly to? We, how do we come boldly to the throne of God? That means we can come before God boldly, but when we're coming to God, it's we, we're coming to him in prayer. So when we come to God in prayer and we're praying to him, it says we can come boldly, which means we can be certain. We don't have to come like I'm scared and I'm afraid, you know, God, I messed up. I didn't do the right thing. I didn't listen to my parents. I didn't say the right nice words to my friends, anything like that. No, we don't have to be afraid of like, oh, I don't know what God going to say or what he going to do. No, the scripture says, because Jesus is our high priest. He felt what we felt and he understands that we, he's given us that right, that we can come boldly before God. We can come to him unafraid. We can come to him unashamed. We don't have to be worried about, you know, I messed up, but we come to him boldly. And guess what happens that we're able to come to the Lord boldly. It says that he gives us his mercy, his forgiveness. He gives us his grace, his unmerited favor. Isn't that great, fake kids? It doesn't matter what we did. We don't do it just on purpose, but just when we do not do what's right, or when we say something that's not right and God and the Holy Spirit will let us know, it checks us and says, that was not a nice word, or that was not the right thing to do. Then we can just go to God boldly, unashamedly, unafraid. And, and guess what? He forgives us. He just says, you my child, I, um, Jesus say, I understand God. I know what they're going through. I know that, you know, sometimes they're tempted, but guess what? Just come, just come boldly before him and we receive all his mercy. We receive his grace. I know that is awesome. That was an awesome word just for me, fake kids, that we can just go to God and we don't have to be afraid. Have you ever did maybe with your parents that you didn't listen and you didn't do something and then you, you had to go to them and let them know, oh, maybe you broke something. And they was like, okay, uh, no problem. They understood, right? That's how God is to us. Or maybe you didn't do an assignment or you forgot an assignment or didn't do so well on a test. And your teacher said, you know, okay, I'm gonna give you another opportunity. You can retest, take it again, or you can take the test that you miss. That's how God is for us. That's how his forgiveness and his favor and his grace towards us is that no matter what that we've done, no matter what it is, fake kids, you can just go boldly to him and he even says in his scriptures that he forgives us and he cleanses us from all unrighteousness. So we don't have to worry about, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna get in trouble. No, no, God says, come on. Cause Jesus says, I, I know father, this, I understand where they were. And he is sitting there with God interceding just for us. So he, he's there, it's like, you got somebody fighting for you, fake kids. Jesus is our high priest and he's right there saying, okay, Lord, I know I've been there. I know what it is and I know how hard it may be sometimes, but guess what? He's got us. He says, forgive them. And he gives us his grace. That's to help us to do what we need to do. What's right to help us make the right choices and the right decisions. He said, we're not perfect. We are not going to be perfect. Fake kids. I'm not perfect, but guess what? We have Jesus who is. So he's there helping us when we need that help, when we're in situations and circumstances or problems that we don't understand and it's too hard, hey, we have a helper. We have Jesus and he is there helping you make the right decision, make the right choice and do the right thing. Isn't that awesome, faith kids? I know it is. I pray you have received this word that no matter what, Remember, fake kids, no matter what it is, you can go before God because we have that high priest and Jesus who understands everything that we go through. So we don't have to be ashamed. We don't have to be afraid. We just go to him boldly. So this week, fake kids, I want you to focus on our memory verse in verse number 15. Go back up to verse 15. 
Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 15. Read it with me, faith kids. This is our memory verse on this week, and I pray that you're reading your memory verse throughout the week and just listening for God speaking to you on what this means. Let him reveal to you what he wants you to see in his scriptures, how this word brings you closer to him, brings you to an understanding of who he is in your life, faith kids. So let's read this memory verse together. Verse number 15, it says, the high priest, I'm in the NIV, NLT, the high priest of ours understands our weaknesses for he faced all of the same testings we do, yet he did not sin. So again, faith kids, that's your memory verse for this week. I pray you will study that, read it throughout the week. Let the Holy Spirit give you revelation on that scripture on who God is to you through that scripture. And I pray that you have a blessed and wonderful week. And we pray that God's face will shine upon you and give you peace. Have a good week, fake kids. Bye.